nearly 100% of Iceland's power grid is renewable and derived from carbon-free sources. They also produce a surplus of energy, making it appealing to the nascent digital economy. There's a lot of zero carbon energy around, and this is something that Bitcoin miners have been looking for. Mining for Bitcoin is very energy intensive. So miners have been going around the world looking for the cheapest and lowest cost power and the cleanest energy sources to reduce their carbon footprint and to reduce their energy costs. So Iceland is a natural draw. This is the heart of Iceland, these eruptions, these volcanoes. It draws power from something called geothermal energy. Geothermal energy originates from this heat. The heat produces steam and turbines capture the steam and power the country. Bitcoin mining is a bit of a misnomer. There is nothing happening with respect to mining. There are no picks and axes. It's simply a data center that's producing digital assets. Generating digital assets takes a certain amount of energy. And it's been very important for us as a company mission to draw from renewable sources of power. 99% of our entire fleet happens to be carbon free, thanks to some of these sources of energy like volcanic energy. This is a 100% carbon-free data center. What we do here is we mine on energy created out of water and volcanoes. We're environmentalists. We're actually very careful to maximize shareholder returns while doing it in a socially conscious way. But not all environmentalists are on board with this concept. Many are concerned at the sheer scale of power consumption of these data centers and worry that their endless energy needs will never be satiated, potentially leading to ecological disaster. At the moment, all homes in Iceland are using less energy than Bitcoin mining. So it's obvious that Bitcoin is a, a huge sector in Iceland. And if we need to build more power projects, we are cutting into ecosystems, uh, geology, unique geology, and uh, inviting projects like uh, Bitcoin we would need to uh, build more power plants. It's hard to say that we need to build more power plants when we still have all this surplus energy that can be used on Bitcoin mining. In terms of building power plants, I don't have the political influence to make that happen, nor do we want to. We're simply guests here and we're just using and buying power that is in excess. While there are some disputed plans for more power plants in Iceland, none of them are being built to power data centers. In fact, they are explicitly geared to service a far more damaging industry. Aluminum smelting is consuming the vast majority of energy in Iceland. It, it tends to have more negative environmental impact compared to uh, Bitcoin mining. The air pollution, the water pollution coming out of the industry. Landsverken is Iceland's biggest power supplier. 85% of their demand or, or customers are industrial users or big power users like aluminum smelters. And this publicly owned power company has said they're not going to build more power plants to serve Bitcoin miners. And Landsverken sees them as temporary or short-term contracts that can easily move in and out. But they do want to draw in more industrial users like aluminum smelters. And so long as power companies service these larger polluting industries, there will likely always be digital stakeholders ready and willing to buy up any spare energy that comes their way. And this has to do with the very nature of power production itself and the niche market that any sustainably focused Bitcoin miner relies on to operate. 
almost all of the energy that is being used for mining in Iceland today is, is what is called non-guaranteed power, which is basically a byproduct of any power production. Power generators, they have excess energy. That energy would have gone to waste, gone into the ether, but Bitcoin miners are in a unique position to buy the energy that would have gone, otherwise been wasted. Unlike a factory or an aluminum smelter that has to be online all the time with an even rate of electricity usage, Bitcoin miners can throttle back really quickly. The aluminum smelters do not want to buy this power. Greenhouses do not want to buy this power and households do not want to buy this power. And why do I say that? Is because of this curtailment clause, which means that we can get an email at any given point or a phone call basically saying, we have to shut you down by so much or completely shut you down for so long. So this ability to sell non-guaranteed power is creating a new market opportunity in Iceland because companies can sell the excess supply that it has without having to like build new generation immediately because this is power that would have gone to waste anyway or unused. We're the buyers of last resort when it comes to energy buying. We're basically buying the, the trash that no one wants. We're buying the energy that no one is using. And that energy is being monetized on behalf of the country that's selling it to us.